was going to go over a couple of details on that truck that I'm going to post up, the black C10. Um, the motor is a 6.0 out of a 2006 Chevy pickup. Uh, 799 heads, new lifters, checked everything over, looked good. Uh, oil pressure was good. Uh, seems like it's a little lower now than it was before, but uh, that was a stock sensor on the, on the pickup before. And now I'm running the Dakota gauges with their the with the sensor that it comes with. So I'm not sure if that is it or what, but uh, I replaced the O-ring on the pickup tube, um, LS9 head gaskets, and everything. So I'm not sure new lifters. I'm not sure why it would be lower. So I think it's just the sensor reads a little different. But you start it up, it's about 45, 50 psi, and then once it's hot it goes down to about 30 20 28 to 30 but but yeah it um it it's um, a good little truck um i uh, the transmission is a 4l60 out of a 04 pickup and i uh, did my rebuild on it level one rebuilt um i've had luck with them uh, if people take good care of it it run about 500 horsepower um, I really don't like to build those trannies for uh, racing. Uh, 4L80 just works way better. But if the truck is vehicle is light enough and stuff, the 60s do work to a certain point. But um, enough of that. Um, on the fuel system, uh, with the factory setup, it just didn't work. Uh, either way, I hooked up the hoses. I just couldn't get it to to work. If, if we were pu pulling out of the left, it would actually put fuel back in the right somehow, the return. And uh, so I ended up just uh, bypassing everything and just using the driver's side tank. And uh, and so it's working really good now. Um, yeah, so, so yeah, I uh, actually never did care much for square body trucks um the c10s but after i've had this one here for quite a while which uh i appreciate uh, the customer being patient with me and and doing builds like this it, it takes a while but um but that thing really grew on me um i really like that tr little truck uh, in the future i think if i ever come across a 79 short bed or long bed four wheel drive two wheel drive I'm not too picky for something just to run around in town and do errands. I think uh, somebody's got one, let me know. I'd be interested. Uh, little pickup done. Figure I'd do a little short vi video on it uh, too. Customer said he was uh, good with it. A little C10 square body. I, uh, I always kind of like that there those models better the OBS's but uh, after driving this one around as my personal um, truck here the last couple of days I really like it it is uh, it definitely grew on me it um, it had a little 350 in it and uh, the R700 transmission but um, I drove it a couple of times with it, just making sure that everything, you know, the axle worked, the front end and everything was good. And uh, yeah, big upgrade in my opinion with the LS swap. Um, I took the motor out of a 2006 HD truck that I bought uh, just for the motor. The body was a little rough, so checked the motor over and uh, it had a little higher mileage but the bottom end looked really good uh, everything was good on it so put some 799 heads on there and we left the cam put new lifters in it ls9 head gaskets and uh, put it all together like that and uh, it runs really good uh, let's check out the gauges i did put some dakota gauges in there that um, that look in my opinion look really nice and 
you can get them all to work really good really easy to hook up and so on but uh, but that's the interior nothing too fancy yeah, something a guy can jump in and not feel bad about using using every day put a cold air intake on there definitely not the best that's out there but it's it, it'll do the job there you can see the heads also installed uh, electric fans and it's got the engine 7 8 um, headers on it speed engineering and uh, see if we can get it to zoom but the BP automotives harness I really like their harnesses they uh, they've been working for me really good and uh, we'll see finally ended up getting some relays with fuses in it so trying those out for the first time see how they gonna work and it's got a um, 4L60 transmission in it. Uh, tranny came out of a 2004 pickup. I ended up rebuilding it. Level 1 uh, built kit that I do. I do level 1 and level 2. But anything over 500 horsepower, I have not had very much luck with the 4L60s. I like to go to the 4L80 if you're going to push more power than that. But that's just a personal opinion I know there's guys that have ran really fast with the 4L60 but uh, yeah I I definitely like that little truck it's really nice 